Hi, this is question two from the AQA Mechanics to January 2013 exam paper. Um, in this question, we've got a particle that moves in a horizontal plane. The vectors i and j are perpendicular unit vectors in the horizontal plane. At time t seconds, the velocity of the particle in v meter per second is given by this um, equation here. We need to find an expression for the acceleration of the particle at time t. So we know that the velocity is equal to this here. I need to find what the acceleration is. So the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity. So for part a, I could start by saying, well, the um, acceleration is going to be equal to the rate of change of the velocity which is dv by dt okay so um, we need to differentiate this in order to work out what the acceleration is so that's going to be equal to well if I differentiate this here I will get um, 12 times and um, this here is going to be uh, pi over 3 so negative pi over 3 sine of pi over 3 times t okay so just to clarify that when I differentiate cos I get negative sine and I've taken the pi over 3 um, as a multiple of that as well. Um, so I've got that much i and take away and if I differentiate this I get 18tj. Okay and um, simplifying that I've got well, uh, 12 times negative pi over 3 is going to be negative 4 pi times sine of pi over 3 t lots of i take away 18 t j and that there um, is an expression for the acceleration of the particle at time t Part B, the particle which has a mass of 4 kilograms moves under the action of a single force, F newtons. For the first part of B, we need to find an expression for the force in terms of T. Now, um, we know that force um, is equal to a mass times acceleration, and I already know that this here is my acceleration. Um, so I can multiply that by my mass. So we've got force is equal to mass times acceleration, um, which means my force is going to be equal to my acceleration multiplied by my mass, which is 4 kilograms. So that's going to be negative 16 pi times the sine of pi over 3 times t lots of i and remember my force is a vector take away and I want to do 18 times by um, 4 which is going to be 72 t lots of j ok and, and that's that for my force um, part 2 We want to find the magnitude of f when t is equal to 3. So I'm going to start off by substituting um, 3 into here. So that would mean that my force is going to be equal to um, negative 16 sine and pi over 3 times by 3. It gives me pi. Lots of i. 
take away and we've got 72 times by 3 um, which is 216 J okay so um, we remember we want the magnitude of the force so um, if I work this out first of all I've got well the sine of pi um, radians is just going to give me uh, zero so that means this component here is going to be zero so I'll have zero I take away 216 J so the magnitude um, of F so the magnitude of my force is going to be well this here is going to be zero squared and I'll have plus 216 squared square rooted um, so simply my force is just going to be equal to 216 newtons I didn't actually need to do this step here I just wanted to highlight that we would square that square that add it together and square root it but you might spot well if this is zero then the magnitude of my force has to be 216 newtons okay part C says when t is equal to 3 the particle is at the point with position vector 4i take away 2j meters so that's the position when t is equal to 3 we want to find the position vector r meters of the particle at time t so we're given a um, a particular point um, for the position vector at time t equals 3 that we're going to use a little bit later on but first of all we're going to find um, an expression for the position vector so I'm going to say that my position vector r um, well that's actually going to be the integral of the velocity so that's going to be equal to the integral of the velocity with respect to t. So I can say well r is going to be equal to um, and I want to now integrate um, each of these here. Well if I integrate 12 cos pi over 3 um, t, I'll write it out in 4 so that's going to give me the integral of 12 pi over 3 With respect to t and I've got that much lots of i take away um, the integral of the j component which is going to be that much of j so integrating um, the i component I'm going to have um, and if I integrate um, cos I get sine so that will be 3 over pi sine pi over 3t so that's going to be 12 times 3 over pi sine pi over 3 uh, t okay so we've got that much for our i component Oops. and then we want to um, and I'm going to add on my arbitrary constant at the end um, as a vector so we're going to take away and if I integrate this, well, I've got uh, t cubed over 3, but I've got 9 lots of t cubed over 3. So that's going to be um, 3t cubed um, times j. OK, and that's my j component. And I've also got a plus um, and our arbitrary um, constant, which is going to be a vector, which is c. Okay, um, 
and I'm just gonna I'm gonna write this in a slightly different way we're going to say that R is equal to and I can just multiply that just to make it look a bit tidier so we're gonna have 36 over pi sine pi over 3t which is my i component take away 3t cubed okay there we go so um, what we now need to do is um, we know that when t is equal to 3 the particle is at the point with position vector 4i take away 2j so when t is equal to 3 all of this needs to be equal to 4i take away 2j so um, I'm just going to say when t is equal to 3 r is going to be 4i take away 2j so I can replace that with 4i take away 2j and that's going to be equal to 36 over pi times by the sine of and that there is going to be um, uh, if t is 3 that's just going to be pi so we have the sine of pi i brackets around that take away and um, this here is going to be um, t cubes which is 27 times 3 which is 81 j plus our vector c and this is what we're trying to find out we're trying to find out what this vector c is so um, well the sine of pi is 0 as we know so um, that component there is going to be 0 and I can add this 81j over to here um, so that tells me that c is going to be equal to 4i if I add that over to here that's going to be plus 79j okay so um, the position vector r of the particle at time t um, I can write down my solution here. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room. Okay, I can write down my final solution as R is going to be equal to um, and C is 4 i plus 79 j so I can write this as 12 sorry use this so 36 over pi sine pi over 3t um, plus 4 lots of i and my j component well I've got a, a plus 79 j here and I've got a take away 3 t cubed j here so I'm going to plus 79 um, and I'll put this in brackets take away 3 t cubed lots of j um, and there you go, that should be our solution. Okay, um, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.